Hi, I'm Wake Speed Jr., Certified Lubrication Specialist with Driven Racing Oil. And here today, we're in the dyno room here at Shaver Specialties Racing Engines, and I'm standing in front of my 383 small block Chevy that's been our test mule for the last 10 years. And the reason we're here today is we're doing some real fundamental research testing. Because in order to make oil better, you have to be able to do proper testing. And what proper testing is, is trying to isolate all the variables that are going on. And there's a lot in this room, in between the temperature and the engine itself and the parts and all this. You wanna isolate those variables and then control those variables to see what the reaction is. So what we're gonna be doing today as part of our little series of testing we're doing this week is we're testing two things. The surface finish of some cams and the hardness of the lifters. A cam and lifter in an engine, which this is again, a small block Chevrolet, but don't let that throw you off if you don't have a small block Chevrolet. Because every engine that has valves, which is essentially every four cycle engine on the planet, has valves that open and close. There's some type of camshaft in that engine that tells the valves when to open. And there's a follower on that cam, be it a roller follower or a sliding follower. Typical uh, overhead cam engines will have a bucket style, uh, which is very similar to a flat tappet, which is what this engine is. What we're able to do with this test, with this type of engine, because it's very simple and very basic, is we can actually measure the cam before the test and then measure the cam after the test. And using a device called an ADCOL, we can measure within a tenth of a micron repeatedly the wear on the camshaft. And we're gonna do that using one oil. So we're gonna control the oil variable by using the same oil from the same batch across all the tests. All these cams have already been broken in and been sent back to comp cams and they've already been remeasured. So we have the baseline already established for the test. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the first cam, put it in, get the engine put back together, and we're gonna run a two hour test. And that two hour test will run at 3000 RPM, and then every five minutes, we're gonna make a sweep test using the dyno here to control it, to go from 3000 to 6000 RPM. And during that time, you'll see the oil temperature go up, and when we do that, we'll also be able to measure the power and the temperature. So in the end of the day, we'll have a couple of things. We'll have parts that have been run for two hours under this controlled test, which you can send back and have remeasured. But we're also we'll be able to drain the used oil, and that will tell us the condition of the entire engine. So we're not just measuring the wear on the cams, we can measure the wear on the entire engine by using the used oil analysis. And then we'll have all the data that the dyno's collected, horsepower, temperature, and all that together. So that will put together a complete picture of what's happening with the engine, with the oils, with the cams, and then that will give us data to be able to make improvements in the oil or ever make recommendations in terms of parts and going forward. We're behind the controls of the dyno. Engine's in there running. Right now it's running around 3,000 RPM, which is exactly what we wanted to do for the duration of this two-hour test. So basically what we're gonna do is run it at 3,000 RPM, holding right around 60 foot-pounds of load uh, on the engine right now. And then what we're gonna do is every five minutes, we're gonna make that 3,000 to 6,000 RPM sweep, which actually we're on time for one right now. So we start off again, water temperature 172, oil temperature is 256, and we'll start the run. To do the run, what you gotta do is initiate it. So now the machine's live. So what we're gonna do is increase throttle and increase load. So we're wide open throttle, full load, hit start on the test, and then we begin to unload the engine. And that's it. The results are gonna print out over here. We made right at 479 foot-pounds of torque peak, 442 horsepower about average for this engine. So we'll continue to do this for another hour and a half, and then we'll be able to swap to the next cam and repeat the same procedure. And then that's part of how we accumulate the wear by running the exact same sequence of tests, same speed, same load, same high intensity, the short duration test to figure out how well 
the oil is working, how well the parts are wearing, that's what it's all about. Now that we've finished the engine testing, let's look at the results to see what we learned. Again, to recap, we tested two different finishes of cams and two different hardnesses of lifters. Our baseline package was a standard finished cam with a standard hard face lifter. The next cam we tested was the standard finish cam along with the non-hard face, the softer lifter. Then the last test was the polished cam along with the standard hard face lifter. The results were quite interesting. Our baseline package produced 24 microns of wear along with seven parts per million by the used oil analysis. So that's out of our baseline, 24 microns, seven parts per million iron wear metals. Well, then we got into the standard finish cam with the softer lifter, and you can actually see the difference in wear visibly on the lifters between the standard hard face lifter and the softer lifter. And the results back that up. On the ADCO, we saw 49 microns of wear compared to 24 for the baseline, and on the used oil analysis, the iron wear metals jumped from seven parts per million up to nine parts per million. So there was a correlation in the increase of wear in both the used oil analysis and the measurement on the cams and lifters themselves. And then we got to the polish cam. And the polish cam showed up again as a great result. Smoother surface, better load carrying ability. Again, you're not doing push-ups on your fingertips when it's a smoother surface. You're doing it on your palms. That better load carrying capacity, reduced the amount of wear that we saw. So from the baseline of 24 parts per million, we're down to now 16 microns of wear. From seven parts per million iron, down to four parts per million of iron in the used oil analysis when we went with the polished cam with the standard lifter. So pretty neat results. Again, we talked about before, the idea behind all of this is these are variables you have to control. You have to understand what the surface finish is. You have to understand the hardness because it has a direct impact on the wear. And you can't make oils that work better if you're not controlling all of those variables. And that's what we're doing. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of insight in how we go about doing the testing in order to try to make better oils that have better durability, more horsepower for your application. If you're interested in learning more about these kind of testings and about our products, please visit our website at drivenracingoil.com. Thanks for watching.